Known as the sport of kings with a history dating back over 2,000 years, falconry, by definition, is the hunting of wild quarry using trained birds of prey. Falconry isn't a hobby, it's a way of life. And as spectacular as these birds are, the truth is it isn't for everyone. Few activities require such a personal commitment. All these falcons and hawks, they have a, what we call a flying weight. The weight at which they're hungry enough that they fly really hard, and, and, but they're really strong as well. You know, any bird that can fly a thousand feet, it's gotta be pretty strong. So I can go in and weigh my birds and I'll be like, okay, I'm on the right target. We can go hunting today. The eagle I have, what we would do is we'd start walking in this field, hiking, hiking with a bird. And the eagle will stay on my fist or will follow us around waiting for a jackrabbit to run. I also have a, a deer falcon. And the deer falcon I work, I, I chase geese with. So you're, you're seeing Raven here, who's a deer peregrine hybrid. The, the way I would hunt is I would go in a field like this. I'd put my dogs out. Once we get a point, I'd put the bird up. The bird flies up to 800 feet or so. When he's in the right position, I bust the quarry. Pheasant flies because they're trying to get away from the dogs. And the falcon comes from the air. And so it really does take a lot of commitment uh, to get a bird like this as a baby train it to hunt and work with you and work with your dogs. And uh, I'm as connected to our natural world when I'm flying these guys as I'll ever be. Falconry has a number of specific laws and requirements in place to protect the health and welfare of these spectacular birds. This is Mike Gurnett, out with Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.